All right, so this is the review for cellular respiration. Um, so the cell organelle that is responsible for cellular respiration is the mitochondria. So I'll just draw a little version of a mitochondria here. Um, and the main chemical equation for um, cellular respiration is C6H12O6 plus 6O2 goes to 6CO2 plus 6H2O. All right, so basically what I'll be going over is the three different parts of cellular respiration um, and where each of these parts of the chemical equation goes in the process. So hopefully you kind of remember from your first biology class that um, the process of cellular respiration started with glycolysis, which actually happens outside in the cytoplasm. And then the products of glycolysis go into the mitochondria, where they go through the Krebs cycle. Um, and then the products of that um, go on to the electron transport chain, which you can find on the membrane right here. Um, and to get a closer idea of what um, is going on, I'll draw a bigger version of the membrane here in just a second. Um, so first of all, um, the beginning of the chemical equation, C6H12O6, uh, glucose, is what goes into glycolysis. Um, and oxygen is the final electron acceptor in the electron transport chain. And so what happens is glucose enters glycolysis. Um, it comes out um, as pyruvic acid. It's going to go into the Krebs cycle. Um, you are going to have carbon dioxide um, produced as a byproduct of the Krebs cycle. Um, and you are going to have water come out of the electron transport chain. Um, but these are the basic steps of cellular respiration. You might remember that glycolysis has um, you know, two ATP um, that it generates net total. Um, it does generate four, but two of them are used up. Um, and you're actually going to get the most ATP out of the electron transport chain, um, 36 to 38, and that's in like a perfect world. Um, you typically, it's not running this efficiently. And um, you also get two ATP here. So each part of this um, metabolic pathway um, produces ATP that we use for um, energy. And what I have expected you to know um, coming into the advanced biology lesson is this basic part um, of cellular respiration. You need to know that glycolysis happens out here in the cytosol. Um, the other two steps are happening within the mitochondria in the mitochondrial matrix and in the membrane. Um, and that you get the most ATP from the electron transport chain, which I didn't label. This is your ETC. We're going to be talking about the electron transport chain in a lot more detail um, in the coming advanced biology lessons. And you can see the chemical equation below. Um, and that's something that you're going to have to know and be familiar with. So the glucose starts by going into glycolysis. ATP is generated. Um, the products of glycolysis move into the Krebs cycle. 
Um, the Krebs, Krebs cycle gives off CO2. You get some CO2 from glycolysis as well, but that's where you get this part of the chemical equation. Um, and then the products of the Krebs cycle and oxygen go into the electron transport chain. So this produces our electron acceptors, NADH um, and FAD, um, NAD and FAD. And those are going to go to the electron transport chain. Um, and then more ATP is going to be used or created. And um, water is going to be made from the chemical reactions there. So it goes in as oxygen, meets up with hydrogen atoms, becomes water. Um, and so you can see how the chemical equation sort of fits in with the whole process of cellular respiration. Um, and we'll get more into the details of that in future lessons.